The program usually presented at this time will not be seen today so that we may bring you the following special program. They took off 30 minutes ago, a 747 airplane, and clamped onto its back America's first space shuttle, the Enterprise. They lifted off from a strip in the Mojave Desert, climbing into the morning air to make a bit of history today. At this moment, from a live camera in a chase plane, here they are, about 23,000 feet now. In a few minutes, the plane will release the spacecraft, and with its two astronauts on board, the Enterprise will get its first free flight test. We'll see it all. NBC News Enterprise reports the, the flight the of the Enterprise. And the this the special NBC News report is brought to you by Polaroid's SX-70, the finest instant camera in the world. Good morning. Eight years ago, when Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon, the restless American spirit began asking the question, what next? Well, this morning, we start to get the answer. Having, quote, conquered space, albeit minimally, the next thing to do is to begin to use it. And that's what the space shuttle program is for, and that is its promise. Well, at this moment, here we are, the space shuttle on board its 747, clamped on top like a remora to a shark, about 23,000 feet, and it is about 13 minutes now from separation. Now, again, in this first test, the space shuttle will not be going into space. It won't do that for about a year and a half. But today, it will be released. It will glide, powerless but controlled, maneuvered by astronauts Fred Hayes and Gordon Fullerton to a landing about five minutes later. It is its first free flight test, a very important test, space officials say. They say that years from now, we will look back on what happens in this half hour as one more milestone of the space age. Well, if that's the case, we figured that it will not have any more meaning for anyone than for the youth of this country. And so instead of filling our studio this morning with NASA officials or former astronauts, we've invited a small group of high school science students to join us to watch this and hear it. Good morning, folks. How are you? We're going to go right now and join Roy Neal, NBC News correspondent who has covered everything in aerospace for America since our aerospace program began. He's at Edwards now, and good morning, Roy. Good morning, Jack. It's a beautiful, warm, clear morning here at Edwards. And here on the ground, there's a huge crowd that's assembled because of this important flight. I must tell you, though, here at ground level, we don't see very much. I'm looking up there right now, and way off in the distance, I can see some small objects that are, of course, the 747 with the Enterprise on top and a number of chase planes. But uh, the better way to watch it is right here on television, as all of us have been doing this morning. From there, beginning in 1979, the shuttles will be launched by rockets to fly orbital trials. They will ride attached to a huge tank of fuel for the main engines, and two more solid rockets will be strapped on the sides. In flight, the strap-ons will be dropped at an altitude of about 30 miles and returned by parachute for recovery. Time now is approximately minus five minutes. Face, Roy. Say again, Jack. Right to you. You got it. Oh, fine. Right. I've been busy listening to the flight. Everything's going very well. Now, let's tune in. Let's see what's happening up there in the air, orbiting Edwards Air Force Base. Let's listen to the astronauts themselves and the 747 pilots. They're not saying anything, of course, at the moment. As soon as they do, I'll... that, of course, is preconceived because Houston Mission Control will be doing all the control. You can set your watch by it. We're one minute away from the pushover, which will be the diving maneuver of the 747. And once they've achieved the right speed and the right altitude, then Fred Hayes will push the button. We're about 10 seconds away from the diving maneuver. 905, we're coming up on four seconds to push over. Two, one, push over. Houston copies push over. Such a shallow dive, you can barely see the 747 start to nose down, but it has. Accelerating now, uh, airspeed 205. He's reading those speeds in knots, by the way. Altitude 27. 27,000 feet. Airspeed 230 knots. 
Okay, we are. Two lights, uh, Houston is go for Seth. Have a great flight. They're cleared to separate. Power. Launch ready. Take one, stop. There they go. They have separation. There's two clear. Okay, we got a GPC light, lost the sink on two, pushing over. Got a big X on computer number two. Roger, stand by and halt on GPC number two. Go for mode 203. Roger. They're flying by computer. Okay, flying good. And you can hear them Roger. talking about the computer. 20, about five feet. Four feet. Give them about four feet. Three feet. Two feet. You're coming off about two feet. You're on, you're on. Okay, your nose wheel's about 10 feet. About 5. 4 feet. About 5 feet. 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll see you, babe. Yay, it's great. Hey, good. Good. Touchdown at 54 minutes, 5 seconds past the hour. That was a beautiful flight, and obviously they came down well, they landed safely, and now they've stopped. Just as they were landing, it was too good a glider. Roy, that was quite a flight. Okay, now I'm going to have to be flying blind. Two seven. See, I don't have air fix that are all that good. Roger. Beautiful pictures from one of the chase players. Okay. And welcome to your future. This is, they tell us, the first crossing of a threshold into a new kind of space age. Up till now, every manned probe has been just to explore mysteries. Now we're beginning to use space, which I guess means that today we're a little closer to Wookiees than we were yesterday. Good morning. This is the NBC Television Network.